Hey everybody, it's Stacia Kennedy and I'm so excited. Today we have an awesome guest for the Influencer Affiliate Marketing Podcast. I'm your host, Stacia Kennedy, and I'm so excited to share with you this interview with Kiara. She is from Madrid, or she is currently in Madrid, Spain, which I've always wanted to go to, so I'm so excited. She's generated over five figures, 10K in two months. So without sharing all her story, let's introduce Kiara, thanks for being here. Hi, thank you so much for having me. I'm so excited. <laughs> I am so excited to have you on here because I've noticed you in a few of the affiliate marketing world and you're doing a great job. Um, you also, well, you've been doing great just on Facebook and Facebook groups. But let's talk, for those of you who don't know Kiara, tell them a little bit about you, where you came from, how you got started in affiliate marketing. Okay, so I am from Malta. <laughs> Most people don't know where this is. So every time I say Malta, they associate it with another country. Uh, Malta is like a really tiny island. Uh, oh my God, how cute. It's a really <laughs> tiny island. <laughs> um, it's in Europe, based. it's just under Sicily. Uh, and yes, we are independent. Um, and I just, um, you know, what happened was I was doing a job I just dreaded. I know a lot of people resonate with this because that's the whole point of coming on life, online. It's just to live a life that you love and I you know I didn't have that I was uh, working in human resources um I looked at I, I was basically literally uh, living the average lifestyle where you go to university get a degree and then you're supposed to normally get married um have you know and, and, and just just work a job that you hate and if you hate it you have to learn how to love it even though you hate it so anyhow um time after like three years of doing human resources, I just couldn't take it anymore. I was at the point of like, I just, I was walking to work feeling sick um, because I knew I just, you know, I was, just, was never looking forward to work. Um, my boss was always yelling for no reason. HR director completely hated me. <laughs> so I was like, I was just, I was just unmotivated. And then I got fired, which was amazing. Like, it was one of those things, you know, it was a blessing in disguise. It was like, yes, I got fired. Like, normally you're not happy. I mean, I had bills to worry about. I'm not going to lie. I had bills to worry about. But I was like, this is the best excuse I have in the world to do what I want to do now. So um, I came online and started looking, looking for ways to make money online. Um, and I was like, I'm going to do this. I was like... I'm going to stop doing human resources. I'm going to do a temp job. That's really like work uh, doing a temporary job. And I would earn literally half of what I used to earn. But I put myself in such an uncomfortable situation that I had to make it work. It took 14 months, but every day I would not look back. Like there were days when I would cry. There were days when I would just slam my head against the wall. I'm like, should I just give up, quit, and just go back to the work, like continue doing human resources all over again? But I was like, no, I came this far. I can't. And after 14 months, it was like something just went click in my head and I just made it happen. And a few months later, I quit my job, started traveling the world full time. And I don't even live in Malta anymore. I lived in Berlin. Now I'm living in Madrid. So, and probably we're now I'm at the love of my life in Madrid. Um, so we might actually move from here. So we might actually go do some traveling together around the world. Awesome. Amazing. So what was it that clicked? I mean, so you were, this is actually good points here, guys, because I always say like, even if you're at a day job, like you can't make your day job wrong, right? You know, like if you're making your day job wrong, then that energy you're putting out there is going to keep you being stuck. And I've totally been there where I'm just like dreading, like, what the heck am I doing here? Um, I have a friend who's, Right, you know, he's doing what you got to do your hustle, right? Like he's cutting grass for um, companies and stuff like that. And every time I talk to him, I feel this energy like, it's like, I hate being there. But you have to either have good energy around what you're doing now because it's only temporary um, or not do it at all. Or like sometimes you have to be pushed to like make that big change and figure something out new. Well, what did, how did you get started when you, you know, you're first working your day job and then like, what were you plugging away at? What were some of the things that you were doing? 
So, I mean, at first I had no idea what I was doing. I was completely overwhelmed. So, like, I want people to know that if they're watching this, it's really normal. Like, they're going to be, like, the, the beginning especially is over. It's just overwhelm. It's information overload and what, where do I get started? Am I on the right track? Because you're not seeing results and you're not going to see results for the first few months. But, um, you know, it's, it's the most important thing, especially in the beginning, is the revenue generating roles. So what are the roles that are going to get me revenue? So I started to focus more on that. And obviously, we all know the most important thing is traffic. Most probably, like, one of the most important things. The other thing is building relationships. Um, and I tried a lot of traffic generation methods. What I didn't know at the time was that if, let's say, I was doing... I'm just going to go with banner advertising as an idea, as an example. I wasn't, I didn't realize at the time, like I was so new to all this that I need to speak in a certain language, um, that it's very cold traffic. So I had to be careful, like what, uh, language I was using. Like you have to speak really basic English, not English, sorry, like basic marketing, like know what Russell Brunson calls techno bubble. Um, and, I didn't know that. So um, anyhow, what happened was when it came to the 14 months just before I had success, well, the first thing that happened was I was done. I was just done staying at home every weekend. I wasn't talking to my friends anymore because I was so obsessed with just having that like five figure month. Um, But I was like, that's it. I'm done. I was like, I have to believe that I can make this happen. I was like, I am going to make this work. And just that belief system inside of me was just, I managed to bring it on a high vibration. So once I started to believe in myself, I started to speak differently. I started, um, like my energy was different because people do feel your energy across the computer screen, like literally. (laughs) Oh my gosh, I love this. Every time, every time I do an interview, it always comes down to mindset, guys. Like, Oh my gosh, you guys have to watch the last couple of podcasts. I mean, er, no, every single one, actually. Every single one. It's all about mindset. And just yesterday, I was talking about this. Um, I'm kind of a closet hippie. So I always say, like, no matter what you do, banner ads, videos, uh, you know, Facebook ads, none of them are going to work. It's great, but they're not going to work if you have the wrong mindset. If you're not believing that it actually will work or putting the intention behind it, if you're coming from scarcity, you're literally, it's, it's always going to fail. So you know, 80% of the time, you should definitely be working on that mindset. I see you have a dream board behind there. Can you tell us a little bit more about what you're doing to keep that mindset? It's a bit, it's a bit messed up. Like, I to speak this thing. I actually ordered this online. It's like a mix of my boyfriend and my vision. And I can't get it to stick. It's, it's because they, um, they, they sent it to me in like um, a tube and it's like, how do I make it flat so I can get it to stick? <laughs> so it's like, it's, it's just dangling in there, but we look at it every day and we, like my boyfriend's dream is to have a jet in the future. Um, like he's like, he's a big dreamer. Like when he came into my life, I was like, damn, my dream is small. Um, and I mean, it's just travel pics and us wanting to get married in Tahiti and oh, it's his house, the dream house as well, which is also my dream house. We found one that we both like. Um, but yeah, every day we dream, like we dream. It's, it's what keeps us going because like the last few weeks, I've really felt burnt out. Like I said this in my group, this was yesterday. I was, um, I was explaining how I feel burnt out because I'm, I want to scale my business so bad. I'm working on like understanding pay traffic and how to speak the language, like literally, like how do you talk to cold traffic? Um, and I've I've really felt burnt out. I'm just tired of of you know like it's the heat here doesn't help. Um, even though you have AC, if you go out just to the gym, you're like Ugh. after we're like we're so tired, we want to sleep. <laughs> but having a vision board, just you look at it and we're like we just remind each other every day. We're like, ah, oh, this is what we're working for. Let's just keep going. Let's not give up. And we just, you know, every day we sit here and we work and we know what this is not forever, you know, but um, the vision board for me is like, it's, a, it's, it's important to have along with um, the right mindset um, and passion. Like I, I always, like you were saying, mindset's important because if you don't believe in 
yourself or what you're promoting, especially, there's going to be so much resistance that you can't sell because there's this resistance that's in the way. For sure. Yes. It's, and uh, along with not uh, believing in the product, being the product of the product. I, I say this all the time. You have to be the product of the product. A lot of people who get started in affiliate marketing want to start off with no money. Um, and you know that there's this hype of like, well, you can do it with no money. Yeah, you can promote a product you don't own and don't invest in it, but it's definitely going to be hard. It's going to be way harder if you are, have not experienced it and you can't speak uh, passionately about the product that it actually can help people. So that's all. What products are you currently promoting and how do you keep focused on uh, the products that you are promoting right now? So my main, uh, like you want the product name? Yeah. Okay. So, um, I'm very passionate about affiliate marketing because I can show people how to monetize any passion they have. Right now I'm obsessed with promoting the one funnel away challenge because, <laughs> um, because it basically, I've never come across anything like it in the sense, like how do you, um, monetize any passion you have online? Like that's, that's your go-to, that's your go-to, uh, affiliate marketing program to promote even a program it's like a 30-day challenge um but it it they over deliver like everything's structured in a way that's so genius it helps people understand okay i start with the offer how do i find what's working and how do i look at it in order to apply to what i have then next it's like how do you publish your story hooks how do you then structure the funnel and put everything together and then how do you send the traffic to it it's like I've never seen anything like this. I was like, damn, it's this easy. Why hasn't anyone ever given it to me? <laughs> Such bite-sized chunks. And it's just so simple. Um, so that's my what I'm obsessed with. And any tools people may need. So um, I don't know, like, for example, well, ClickFunnels software, everyone needs that. So I will promote that. Like, I'm obsessed with even promoting this because I know it's going to change people's lives. And then there are lots of um, back-end offers that Russell promotes and I just leave it to him to do that because he just does such a good job promoting the, the back-end offers that come with um, anything that might help you know that pe pe people may need in order to scale faster and just have successful, successful online yeah I love it I love it love it love it I when they came out I've done it several times you guys if you haven't heard me talk about it I've you know, I've, I don't know where you've been <laughs> one from the challenge it, I've done it several times myself um, you know, it's not just, it's, it's about accountability. It's, it does all the teaching for you because I was trying to teach people this concept, um, as well. And it was like, this makes it so much easier. Let the experts, let the multi-million dollar experts who built millions of different funnels and made millions of dollars in any business. Um, and you really get the entire like understanding of, how it all works even from the first week it talks about mindset so that tells you again what how mindset is so important and then the second week you go into the offers and the hook and the story and, and all that stuff so i'm glad you mentioned that um a lot of people have actually come to me um trying to have me promote other offers i wanted to ask you how do you keep like focused on like this, this is what I do. This is, you know, what I offer instead of, you know, people are always trying, I'm, I'm pretty clear now because I'm like, I got, I got my own thing going. <laughs> How do you yeah. focus on this one uh, offer and your brand? Um, the thing is I've done this now for five years and somehow I was never one of these people that program hooks. Like, I'll do something for a while until I see something sketchy, something I don't like, then I'll move, yes. But it's not because someone is like, oh, you should promote this. And because I always knew that it's the marketing fundamentals that make a vehicle successful. You know, it's not the pro, like a lot of people, like they like to position the offer as that's going to change your life. No, it's the marketing fundamentals. Do you know how to sell? Do you know how to send traffic? If not, that's what you need to focus on. I don't care what you promote. Every program or product or affiliate program works. But if you don't know how to make it work yourself, then you're always gonna be stuck no matter what you promote. So for me, it was always, I always understood that. So um, it's not easy, like it's very easy for me to ignore what people are pitching. 
Um, yeah, plus, a lot I, of people have shiny object syndrome, and I'm like, hey, wake up over here. <laughs> it's incredible. Like a lot of people are like, I'm gonna be promoting this with you, and then the next day I see them promoting something else. I'm like what just happened like less than 24 hours you're promoting something else like get over it <laughs> like you know um so i think that's yeah. where it comes down to belief too because they didn't believe in themselves in the first place so then they think it's something else they think it's the product i think because it's like well you, you know don't even in direct sales or direct you know people jump from different companies to, it's not the company it's it's you <laughs> So that's where I think, exactly. um, like you said, belief in yourself too, to stick with one thing and get really good at a platform. What would you say is your advice to someone who's just getting started? Um, I would say if you're just getting started, the main thing that's going to be like an obstacle um, is overwhelm. So the way I would say reduce overwhelm is just your magic number is one have one person that you follow do one program don't try promoting this and that and this and that because everyone's like um i want to promote this nutrition product and i want to promote this affiliate marketing program i was like how the hell are you going to do that you're just getting started and just have one traffic method that's it don't do anything else like even since i've been doing this full time i never touched more than one or two traffic strategies at most and that's it um, and they're quite like, they're both organic. So they're both speaking to the same market. And now I'm starting to touch cold traffic, and, but it's been after multiple years. So, um, if you're just getting started, your magic number is one, one mentor, one program, one traffic method. Don't do anything else. Don't overwhelm yourself. What is your favorite organic traffic method? Um, I would say it's Facebook. I know that there are better platforms out there. But with Facebook, I just love how easy it is to get people to know, like, and trust you because you can do lives, you can write story posts, like, you can literally, um, you can, how do you say, like, uh, satisfy every type of audience. Like, if you have an audience that likes to read, you can have, like, a long story post and just, like, you know, attract them to you with that. Or you can have lives or uploaded videos. So I just think it's the easiest way to get people to warm up to you and buy your product. Like you don't need many leads to make a six figure income with Facebook. Um, with other platforms, you're going to need more leads. You know, the other, other platform I would say you don't need that many leads is YouTube um, because it's a video platform. So it's easy. Like people, you're not hiding behind the computer screen, you know, but uh, Facebook for me was just the easiest way to quickly get myself out of a job and start monetizing whatever I was selling at the time online. Yeah, I love doing live streams. Um, and then if you wanna get good at copywriting, like you said, and creating the longer posts with images, um, but videos is just so, so easy. Um, for me, I love being able to do videos, but I always tell people if you're afraid, I mean, you can definitely just, you just have to get practice doing it, but you can also do screen shares. Not as effective, I don't think, because I think people really love to see you. and. Um, I get that all the time. Like, yo, you're so genuine. I just love watching your videos. So, um, Facebook definitely is where I got started. And then once you get really good at one thing, move over to a different platform. I've now been focusing on YouTube as well, which, um, is great because people are searching for a prop. They're searching for a solution to your problem, to their problem. And if you start showing up, the law, the person who shows up the most, the one who wins. So <laughs> I just, it's, it's amazing. Love it. No. It's yeah. Great. I love YouTube. YouTube's really changed my life as well. It's, it's good. And from YouTube, you can send people to Facebook. It's like I've grown, like I've had people join my group through the Facebook, through YouTube. So I definitely love YouTube. And like you said, people are searching for keywords. Like, even you just like there was a time when I would just buy your keywords, um, like so, like a product and reviews. So I knew people had their credit card in hand. If you get those to rank, it's amazing. <laughs> yeah, they're ready. They're ready and willing buyers because they are searching for either a competitor of your product or they're searching on like how to. Like there's, I, I, oh, it's amazing. Like you just all you need to do is start searching what someone would start 
typing in your demographic would be looking for and it starts populating what they're looking for. No brainer, do a video about it. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> I love this stuff. I, I'm totally obsessed as well too, but I like that you mentioned about having to, you know, take breaks and like find the joy in your life and go spend time with whoever. This is why we work so hard online so we can enjoy our lives offline. And I hope one day when you're, you guys get married in Tahiti that you invite me because I would love to be there. And this is another reason why I love, sharing this and helping people do the same thing too so that we can all go and hang out with each other and, and go to tahiti go to spain like there's actually my favorite spa that's in barcelona i think they actually have it in madrid too but i went to this to tell me that yeah i went to the spa in new york um and they have it's actually um from spain the people who built it in new york it's called a-i-r-e air air spa something like that it's amazing so I'm, I'm excited i'm excited to come visit you one day <laughs> i have to come and visit me <laughs> and i'll tell you where I, like, I have to like get a new dream board actually that is one of my um my tasks this this month to do a new dream board too with my friends we're going to do a dream board party <laughs> Wow, I like that. Yeah. So that's such a cool idea. Dream yeah. board party. Yeah, so we can all see each other's intentions too. Oh, so fun. So yeah, I mean, you guys, if you haven't gotten started with the One Funnel Away Challenge, it's coming soon. Um, and there, it's it's just a hundred dollars. Like I've paid so much more in in training and courses that this one is like ten times like the value. Wouldn't you say? I spent so much money on <laughs> courses and crap. And when I got the one funnel challenge for a hundred bucks, I was like, it can't be this good. Like I thought there was like a catch or I was like, and yes, they have upsells, like obviously it's a funnel. Um, but any other course would do the same. And but if they tell you like it's not necessary, like if you just wanna like be successful faster, you can get these. If not, you're still gonna be successful um so that's what i loved about it you know it's like it's not like you must get these in order to be successful it's like but it's just the whole setup is so genius you're like it's just they just teach you how to model what works and how and what to look at so i mean that's the easiest thing to do in the world you just go and they tell you where to go and like how to look at it and how to draw your own plan it's like for me it was just like like aha uh -huh. <laughs> it is it's definitely and, um, you know, for people in your beginning, obviously it might take you a little, you know, it is pretty overwhelming and it's an intense course, but I highly recommend you stick through the whole 30 days. Um, and you need, if you ever need support, that's why we're here. Um, but I don't want, thank you so much for being on this, sh on my show here. I want to leave people with at least three tips. I think we gave them pretty good tips to get started, but what would you say that we can leave them with three tips that they can get started with today if they want to get started? Okay. Um, I would say don't be afraid to invest in yourself. I think that's number one. Um, a lot of people, like, even in my group, they're like, they make a big deal about, like, spending $100. I mean, if you see this, I can't remember what the stats were. I was looking at how much students spend like in total on average, um, like to study at university, I think it's well over 34,000 or more it could be. And I was like, what? Oh, I was yeah. like, you spend all that money so you get a job that you hate and then you have to pay the loan and then maybe you can buy a house and then maybe you can pay for it before you die. Uh, no, I'm not gonna live my life that way. I think I'll spend a hundred bucks, take the risk, which by the way, there's a guarantee with, with the one funnel away challenge, 30 days. <laughs> You can send the kids back and like get your money back. Um, so like, don't be afraid to invest in yourself. Like, even a commercial business. If you wanted a commercial business, I'm speak for Madrid. Um, I was discussing it with my boyfriend because my friend wants to open a salon here, and he's like, oh, I can start with thirty thousand. My boyfriend, who's from well, he's from Ecuador, but he's he's been living here all his life. He's, he's like, you think you're gonna start a business with thirty thousand dollars? Sorry, euros here. That's more in dollars. Like, forget about this. Like, you're just starting with 30,000 euros. 
So don't be afraid to invest in yourself. Um, just contact Stasia and start a one funnel away challenge. You have to. <laughs> um, the next thing, um, I would say, you know, if, if you're not happy, like something needs to change. I actually wrote this on my wall today. Like, um, like there's some things like even like as, as entrepreneurs, there are going to be days when you wake up in the morning and there's something that's just not right. Um, maybe you want to change your strategy. Like for me, I've, I've been doing organic marketing for years now. So now in, I've realized it's time for me to change strategy. So I was just tired. I was just not happy waking up in the morning doing that anymore. So I knew it was time for a change. So if you feel that you're not like something needs to change so that inside of you, you can be happier, then do something about it. Um, one other tip. Oh my God, she wants three tips. <laughs> <laughs> well, number one, definitely invest in yourself. I always say that be the product of the product and be flexible because you know, you, one thing you do one thing and it starts, you start seeing results and then start adding other, other things as well too. I like, I like those things. Um, I think the other thing I would say is, um, you know, face your demons, like what's stopping you from becoming a legacy, mm -hmm. like write it down, you know, is it because you're scared that you will create a funnel and it won't work? Is it, a, are you afraid that you can never get enough traffic to your website? Like write these things down and then just tear up that paper. I actually got this from Lady Boss. I'm stealing the idea from her. Mm -hmm. Um, but I love her and I was like, I watched that and I was like, oh my God, it's so true. She's like, just write it on the paper and then she's like, just tear it up. And it's not your problem anymore. You're going to deal with it because millions of other people have dealt with our, like the same problems and they made it work. So for me, it was like, work. I've been dreading paid traffic for years. And I, I've had people tell me like, what are you waiting for such paid traffic? Like you can't scale your business if you're going to keep doing the same thing over and over. Like so many different traffic strategies that you know, can help you just scale your business. And I was afraid this whole time. And I just said, it's like, it's time to face a demon. I was like, and I'm going to keep at it until I make it freaking work. So I'm not stopping now. So whatever your problem is, write it down and say, it's not my problem anymore. I'm going to figure a way out. I love it. I love it when I just soul connected with people who are on the same alignment, higher vibrations, guys. <laughs> Raise your level, level up. Thanks for being on here. Um, if people want to connect with you and your group, where can they find you? Okay, so you can find me on Facebook. Um, just look up Chiara Franchica. Um, you'll see, I, I, I mean, I'm quite active on my, on my uh, Facebook. But through my Facebook, you can join my group because it's in the bio section. You guys can just join my group there. And yeah, it would be great. Awesome. <laughs> I'll put all your links in the description. Thanks for being here again. Um, much love and aloha guys. And we'll see you guys on the next video. Thank you.